RoboHelp Server can now host both frameless and responsive HTML5 layouts. This means they can be displayed on desktop, tablet, or mobile devices, or most any screen size. It's also easy to publish to RoboHelp Server from either RoboHelp or FrameMaker. Let's take a look at both workflows. First, we'll demonstrate with the sample project provided by RoboHelp. This frameless home page option provides a more open and contemporary web interface. This happens to be RoboHelp's new frameless layout skin editor, where it is easy to execute beautiful designs to meet your style guidelines. Here's what the design looks like in a web browser, with its easy-to-navigate frameless layout. Digging down deeper, here is the same topic in the RoboHelp authoring application. Our sample project is a travel company. Once the authors are finished with the content, it's time to publish, so we shift from the author to the output mode. Here we can build both web and print output presets for any number of different devices. A new preset is created. Call it Compass Frameless RoboHelp Server. Next, configure the various elements of the project which will be published to the RoboHelp server. In this General tab, I'll just title the project and accept the defaults. In the Layout tab, designate the skin, master pages, or create thumbnail images that the user can enlarge for better viewing. A powerful search engine offers a variety of choices, including predictive search and auto-completion, and a search answer box for micro-content similar to Google's popular answer boxes. Next, we'll get it ready for RoboHelp Server to host the content. To prepare the project for the RoboHelp Server, create publishing profiles. Next, select the area destination on the server. We will describe password-protected areas in a moment. The staging area is used to prepare content and review it with the team during development. When it's ready for prime time, we can publish it to the live area for the designated audience to view. While we're at it, we can publish a subset of our project that can be viewed only by members of the Human Resources Department. Click Save when the profile is complete. When we're ready to publish, we first generate the content that we've been preparing. After generating, we can publish to the server itself and do both projects at the same time. Both projects are now on their way to the server. Now that the project is published, it's time to take a look at the RoboHelp server side of things. This is an all-new browser-based web administration application. It's built on HTML5 and viewed from most any web browser. First, we sign in. Go to the Projects tab. We'll choose the staging area because that's where we just published it. Sure enough, here is our Compass Travel project that we just published. Let's view it now. Here it is in the web browser. Give search a try with the word Leisure. This takes me to Leisure Services with a yellow highlight. Recall that we published our project to the staging server. In the Reports staging area, we can gather lots of information on how visitors are using the site. This one is for search terms with no results. This can show gaps in information that authors can use to make changes in future updates. Here are frequent search terms in bar chart form. Reports are also available in pie chart format, and you can easily enhance the charts by exporting statistics to Excel or charting software. There are 12 reports available out of the box. For more information about reports, take a look at our video on using audience analytics. The publishing workflow for FrameMaker authors is very similar. Let's take a closer look. Here's a parts catalog sample project that comes with your FrameMaker installation. We'll use this as an example of publishing to the RoboHelp server. First, click the Publish button. Then the Settings file icon. Select the Responsive HTML5 output option. Then select the skin from the library or customize one with your own branding. Let's choose the charcoal gray skin. 
Now select the Server tab. Select New. Fill in the path to the server, as well as your username and password. Finally, select the engineering area where you would like to publish. Notice there are a number of different areas, depending on however many you need. Click OK to save. Next, we generate the selected output. And finally, click Publish to send the content to the RoboHelp server. Time to sign in to the Web Administration app to take a look at our published project. Navigate to the Engineering area. As expected, here is our project freshly published in the Engineering area. Click View Project. Here's the project as viewed by the end user on a browser of their choice. As they surf the site, they make a search for the term Orbiter. Here is the Orbiter topic with yellow highlighting in the search term. Now let's search for a different term, Boat, for example. There is no topic for Boat, so the message returned is No Results Found. Now that the project has been published, let's take a look at the reports to see what end users have been visiting and searching for. Under the Reports tab, we select the Engineering area. Then select Search Terms with no results. Here we can see that Boat shows up as a search term not found. This lets the author know that they should see if this warrants changing or adding content in an updated version. In addition to bar and pie charts, the reports include much more granular detail on many metrics. There are 12 reports available out of the box. For more information about reports, take a look at our video on using audience analytics. Future Ready Publishing to Adobe RoboHelp Server from both RoboHelp and FrameMaker. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us, techcom at adobe.com.